Ram has just introduced the 2021 1500 TRX. Ram calls it their Halo product, and if you're into off-road trucks, you can almost hear angels sing when the engine revs in the fastest, most powerful production light-duty truck on Earth. According to the specs, the TRX has done to the Raptor what the Bronco did to Wrangler. Many of us have clamored for a V8 engine for our off-road trucks, and Ram delivered with a version of the Hellcat, a supercharged 6.2-liter engine with 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. Ram says the TRX will do 0 to 16 4.5 seconds, 0 to 110.5, leave blisters in the pavement through a 12.9 second quarter mile, hitting 108 miles per hour on its way to a factory limited top speed of 118 miles per hour. We've seen a version of the engine before in the Hellcat Challenger and Charger, but it's also in the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, where it produces 707 horsepower and 645 pound-feet of torque to rocket that SUV from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. The Ram engineers told us the 5 horsepower drop from 707 to 702 is a result of the TRX's longer restrictive exhaust. No worries. We know guys who can fix that. Like the guys at Hennessy Performance who dialed up the Hellcat and the Trackhawk to 1200 horsepower. There is no replacement for displacement. The TRX or T-Rex is clearly aimed at the current king of the desert running the Ford Raptor, whose 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 produces what now looks like an anemic 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. The Raptor does 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds, the quarter mile in 13.9, and has a factory limited top speed of 107 miles per hour. <sighs> Wait a minute, what's the world coming to when a production half ton truck looks weak with these kind of numbers? I don't know what the world's coming to, but I can say it's going by fast. You can't generate the TRX's power numbers without feeding it a lot of clean, fresh air. Ram has designed a dual intake system, taking air from both the hood scoop and the grill. It's designed to trap water and debris before filtering it through 12 by 8 inch air filters. Ram says the TRX has four times the filtering efficiency of the nearest competitor. The intakes are also on top of the engine and in addition to a new alternator are part of the reason the TRX has a water fording depth of 32 inches. By the way, if 4x4s are what you love to drive or plan to drive, smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a new episode from us here at 4 Wheel Drive Magazine. The TRX doesn't share much in common with the standard Ram 1500 other than the name. The body is 8 inches wider at 88 inches, and the track is 6 inches wider than the rest of the 1500 lineup. This is in part due to the tires, which are 1 inch wider. We've always believed that tires are a huge part of vehicle performance, especially off-road. And in this case, Ram went to Goodyear. The 35-inch Territory all-terrains were specifically designed for the TRX, and in true off-road fashion, are available with beadlock-ready wheels. The engineering is beefy, with a Dana 60 in the rear, housing a locking differential without speed restrictions. The Burley diff is ready for off-road with floating hubs and an axle hop dampener for better traction. Although the footage shows the truck rock crawling, it seems they used up their diff budget in the rear as the TRX doesn't have a locking front differential, but uses braking to reduce wheel spin. Both front and rear axle housings have a final drive ratio of 3.55 to 1 and are getting the power through a new Borg Warner 4813 full-time active transfer case, which features tougher internals and a low range of 2.64 to 1. Let's talk suspension, which is arguably the most important system when driving off-road. In the rear, the TRX uses a version of Ram's 5-link suspension instead of springs for a better ride and greater articulation. Up front is a freshly designed independent front suspension focused on durability, extra track width, and more wheel travel. It's designed to conquer with 13 inches of travel up front and 14 inches in the rear, sucking up rough terrain at high speed using the new Bilstein Blackhawk Adaptive Dampers. 
These shocks are part of the reason Ram could engineer eight dynamic drive modes. The five on-road modes are auto, sport, tow, snow, and custom, with three off-road modes, mud sand, rock, and Baja. Yes, Baja, just like the Raptor has. Plus, a valet mode to keep parking staff from reenacting their favorite BJ Baldwin off-road videos. One technology we are excited to test is jump detection, which uses accelerometers at each tire, along with wheel speed and ride height sensors to realize the truck is airborne and prepare it for landing. I never thought I'd say that about a truck. The goal of the system is to prevent shock loads from damaging the driveline as it gets airborne over and over and over again. You can't blast it across the desert without seriously beefing up the frame. Ram says the chassis is 75% new using hydroformed, high strength steel in a fully boxed frame to create the most torsionally rigid frame possible. Since drivers also need to stop occasionally, Ram's 15 inch front disc brakes are the largest in the segment, which is important as the TRX weighs in at a rather hefty 6,350 pounds. Basic off-road specs are 30.2 degrees approach, 21.9 breakover, 23.5 departure, and a ground clearance of 11.8 inches. Very similar to the Raptor Super Crew at 30.2, 21.8, 23 degrees, and 11.5 inches of ground clearance. The underbody is protected with skid plates at the front fascia, front axle, transfer case, transmission pan, and fuel tank. Steel rockers are optional, but tow hooks at each corner, front and rear, are standard. The stance is aggressive, and depending on your sense of style, pretty darn good looking. It's an hourglass figure that Marilyn Monroe would be proud to own. Fortunately, the engineers were in the mindset of form follows function, as the flared composite fenders are needed to cover the 12.5 inch wide wheels, and they incorporate aerodynamic venting as air enters next to the headlights and exits before the front doors. The mustache grill that we first saw in the Revel and Power Wagon is a bit wider and it rests below the hood scoop, both of which help deliver fresh air to that hungry 6.2 liter V8. We also like the LED lights on either side of the stash that have adaptive light control which follows steering while you turn. The TRX will be available in three trim levels with rather unimaginative names, TR, TR1, and TR2, essentially delivering three levels of affordability, technology, and luxury. We like that the dial shifter has been chucked out the proverbial window and replaced with a traditional console shifter. Then Ram used that leftover bit of dash real estate for the rear locker control, transfer case selector, drive mode selector, and the launch control. Yeah, it's not as exciting as it sounds. Launch control is driver adjustable technology that manages tire slip in milliseconds to adjust torque and maintain traction. We like the paddle shifters on the steering wheel, the standard 12 inch touchscreen, and the optional heads up display. Aside from the usual infotainment options, the 12 inch display will allow you to see and control features unique to the Hellcat engine and off-road driving. Now, as good as the Hellcat engine is compared to the Raptor's 3.5 liter EcoBoost, it does have its work cut out for it, as the TRX weighs in at 6,350 pounds, 653 pounds heavier than the Raptor Super Crew, which sits at 5697. Why does this matter? Because we haven't seen the reveal of Ford's 2021 Raptor. Ford has a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 called the Predator just waiting in the wings. It produces 760 horsepower in the Mustang Shelby GT500. A smaller, lighter engine that produces more horsepower if put in the lighter Raptor could quickly spell the end of the T-Rex's reign as the fastest and most powerful light duty truck. But that's not all. Early spy shots of the 2021 Raptor don't show any leaf springs, suggesting there could be a move to a five link suspension in the back. Once again, enhancing the Raptor's agility off-road. The truck has clearly been designed for off-road use, but Ram wasn't content until they had all the big numbers in the bank. 
So yes, you can haul and tow with a 1,300 pound payload capacity and an 8,100 pound tow capacity. Naturally, the payload is higher than the Ford Raptor Super Crew at 1,200 pounds and the TRX Max Tow is 100 pounds more than Raptor. To bolster your towing experience, Ram offers an integrated brake controller and surprisingly is using the TRX to debut their new backup feature, Trailer Reverse Steer Control, to match Ford's Pro Trailer Backup Assist. You dial a knob on the dash to push the trailer in the direction you want to go. The order desk for the TRX is open with prices starting at 70,000 US, 94,000 Canadian, which is considerably higher than the cheapest Raptor Super Crew starting at 58,000 US. In both cases, add your destination fee plus taxes plus 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 plus. There you have it. What's your take on getting a V8 in an off-road truck? Would you take a 2021 TRX over a 2020 Raptor? Or would you wait to see what Ford fires back with in the next gen Raptor? If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. And ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.